Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about classical conditioning, also known as Pavlovian conditioning. So let's just jump right in. So let's start with Pavlov's experiment. So what Pavlov was doing was that he was studying how dogs digested their food and he primarily measured their salivation. So he would serve them food in the form of meat powder and the dogs as a response would salivate to the food. Now something that was peculiar was that he noticed that when he put his lab coat on in preparation to serve them food, the dogs began salivating. So let's just break down this series of events right here into some of the definitions and uh, terms that you may have learned in your psychology courses. So before serving them the meat powder, Pavlov put his lab coat on and the dogs would salivate in response to him putting his lab coat on. So these are some of the terms that I'm referring to here and let's start right here the unconditional response. So anything that's termed unconditional means it's not trained. It's completely natural. It's biological to the individual. So unconditional response is simply just a reflex, an innate biological response, something completely natural to the individual that's being tested on. And this unconditional stimulus is something that will cause this reflex. You don't, you don't need to train the dog to salivate as a response to getting food. So our unconditional stimulus is the food, the meat powder, and our unconditional response, just the reflex, is going to be salivation. They're going to salivate the second they see food. Makes sense. So let's move on to the conditional portion here. Anything that is conditional is trained. So a conditional stimulus means this is a stimulus that is going to cause uh, a reflex that you are looking for, a response that you are looking for. And you're going to get every time once you teach the individual that they should respond to this stimulus. So in this case, our conditioned sim stimulus is the lab coat. And our conditional response, the learned response, is to salivate. So Pavlov gives them food in the form of meat powder, they naturally respond by salivating. Now Pavlov puts his lab coat on before getting the food prepared and they anticipate that they're gonna get meat powder, their food, and they will respond by salivating. So anytime he puts on a lab coat, they're going to salivate. So that are, that's how we break down these terms right here. Now let's just move on to another schema that you might have seen in class and I will break that down for you. So this is pulled from a intro to psychology textbook. Uh, you might have seen this in your textbook or in class. Let's just move from panel to panel and explain what's going on. So let's start with before we condition the dogs, before we teach them to salivate in response to a lab coat, right? If we start over here, we have the unconditional stimulus, which we said is something that you don't need to train the dog to respond to, which is food in our case, and the unconditional response, the natural reflex or salivation in the case of the dogs. Now here you're seeing something called a neutral stimulus, which I didn't touch on before. Basically, this neutral stimulus is something that means absolutely nothing to the individual, but that will eventually train them to respond. So what do I mean by that? In this case, before Pavlov has taught them to respond to the lab coat, they only respond to the food. So when he first put on his lab coat, they didn't associate it immediately. You're not gonna, the dog isn't gonna see a lab coat and think, oh, I'm getting food today. They're gonna see the food at first and then they're gonna drool or salivate as a response. But when we condition them, we are putting the lab coat on, we're serving them food, and then they salivate as a response. So they will begin to associate the two together. They're going to get paired. When you put the lab coat on and serve them food, they're going to salivate. So this is during conditioning. And if we look here, 
after conditioning, this is once they've been trained or once they've learned to associate the two. So that neutral stimulus, the lab coat that originally meant nothing to the dog that we paired or we put on at the same time as serving them food and they salivated with now becomes a conditional stimulus. This lab coat, it's going to become a conditional stimulus now. So anytime we put on a lab coat, they're going to see that you Pavlov put the lab coat on and they're going to say, oh, I'm anticipating food and they're going to salivate as a response. So anytime he put the lab coat on after that, they're going to salivate because they're anticipating the food. And they've learned that the lab coat equals food being served, which means they're going to start salivating. So I hope I've broken that down simple enough for you. Um, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos and comment below any other questions that you may have regarding this topic or any other videos that you would like to see and I'll be sure to produce some of those for you.